In this video, we'll be walking you through step by step on how to build a subscription product store on Shopify specifically without using extra additional plugins, applications, or even custom code. This is going to be perfect for beginners who want to offer subscriptions using Shopify's built in features. We'll be using a very simple example for today's video, which is going to be a coffee bean subscription. These have become wildly popular over the last couple of years, and there's tons of ways that you can build an online storefront on Shopify to basically make this exact business model. You'll have a product that customers can subscribe to, paying up front for recurring deliveries, all of this being set up within Shopify's admin tools completely from scratch. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get started with Shopify. The best part about this is that it's pretty much completely free to do so. Shopify has a free trial that you can take advantage of where you don't have to even put in your credit card details to get started with them. The first thing you want to do is head down to the link down in the description. Once you click that link for Shopify, you should be taken to a page that looks something like this one. As you can see, the only thing we have to do to start our free trial is enter in our email address. Now to get started with our free trial, we simply enter our email address right here and hit the start free trial button, which will take us into the account setup page where we'll create a quick password and then hit create Shopify account. Once you've done that, it'll take you through a series of questions that you can answer so that way they can tailor your Shopify experience to the specific things that you might need depending on what your situation might be. Now for the sake of this video though we're going to go ahead and skip this step as it's not really necessary for what we're trying to build. Plus you can just follow along with me anyways. So I'll go ahead and hit the skip customize step button which will take me to their pricing page. Now if you want to start running your Shopify store and ultimately start getting customers and making sales you do have to actually purchase one of these plans. The best part about this though is that for your first three months it's only going to be one dollar a month. Then it will go up to the regular price that you're seeing here, but pretty much it's virtually free to get started with Shopify and it's so incredibly affordable. I recommend with going something like the basic plan, although if you're an more established storefront and you have a huge customer base, going with something like the grow plan or the advanced plan might be a better option here. But as you can see here, we can skip this for now because we're just trying to build the storefront. Once we're ready to start taking on customers, we'll head back here and activate one of these pricing plans. I'll go ahead and hit the skip all this side later button, which will take me straight into Shopify's homepage or their dashboard. Now inside of this dashboard, this is where pretty much you're going to be making most of the changes, any edits that you might need to make to your storefront. That way you can start selling products. The first thing you're going to want to see here though is the actual My Store widget here, which as you can see, we have a bunch of different things that we can do. Nice little animations here for some of the different things that we can make changes to. And then of course, ultimately also the Shopify payments, reviewing shipping rates and customizing our domain name. Now the first thing we're going to start with is actually designing our storefront, which which, as you can see right here, they've made it easier than ever to go about doing this. Thanks to their new artificial intelligence that they have directly built into Shopify's ecosystem, you can basically type out exactly what you're trying to build and generate it using artificial intelligence. Oh, for the sake of this video, I'll just give you guys an example here. I'll type in coffee subscription website, and then we'll just call it roasters in all capitals. And that'll be like the, the website title. I'll kind of specify a little bit there. Once I've typed that out, I'll hit the generate button. It might take a little bit here for actually to, you know, things to start working here. But as you can see, it pops up kind of a little chat bubble here on the right, similar to something like chat GBT, for example. And it starts doing what you're asking it to do, which in this case is building yours or more specifically finding a theme that's going to build your store faster and more efficient. As you can see here inside of this themes part, they've actually pre-selected a couple of themes that they personally think would be a good choice for us given the type of business that we're trying to run. As you can see here, these all look pretty good here. I'm just going to go ahead and go with a very simple one here, which is going to be this feather theme. I'll then hit the try theme button. Once I hit that, that will then select it as my current acting theme. Now, next big step here is going to be actually in theming our storefront, which as you can see in our little setup guide over here, we can go about doing that by either typing stuff into this text box or simply actually interacting with it on the website itself. Now, for the sake of this one, once again, we'll stick with that roasters theme that we went with earlier, and I'll just type in roasters, all capitals. Hit the send button here, which will then make an automatic update to our storefront and name our storefront roasters. As you can see here, it also gives you some helpful tips and other things you can do in that process. Now that we have a store picked out as far as our theme is concerned and a good title in place, let's go ahead and start customizing the website and make it look like our actual own website. What we have to do is simply click on the online store page, click on the themes page, and then go ahead and click on the customize button. Once you click on that customize button, it will take you into the Shopify store 
editor. Now, this is basically like a drag and drop website editor. If you guys have ever built a website before, it's going to be very, very similar to this. Let's allow cookies really quick here. That might be important. Let's also allow cookies in the theme editor. Allow those. As you can see, though, I can make edits to this simply by clicking on anything I can see in front of me. So let's say instead of opening soon for this little lock screen here, instead of opening soon, let's say I wanted to say something like coming soon. And we just want to kind of change that, uh, you know, phrasing basically. I simply just double click on it like you would on text inside of a document and just start typing whatever I want to change it to, which in this case is coming soon. Also, there's the ability to change the actual heading size here if I want it to be a little bit bigger or maybe I want it to be a little bit smaller. Both of these options, as you can see here too, the text box even adaptively conforms to what you're actually trying to make changes to, which is pretty helpful. Now, one other things that you can do here is for this example here, this storefront just has this password page. Let's say we want to publish this immediately so that way people at least have something that they can go to. We can even start building our email list by doing this. You can simply click on the email button down here, which will then basically allow you to have an email form that people can put their email into, which you can start building a customer list for. Now, the whole purpose of this video is being a subscription site, which is actually so much easier than you might think. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually out of this store editor altogether you can't really add those subscriptions quite yet until we build the subscription product which will be done inside of Shopify's admin dashboard I'll hit the leave page button here which will take me back to Shopify's dashboard inside of Shopify's dashboard I'll go up to the products tab inside of the products tab I'll go ahead and click on the add product button now we're inside of the products tab this is where I can start creating our coffee subscriptions oh so for the first one here we'll call this our house roast blend. And we'll actually remove those dashes because we're not you actually want it to look proper. One of the other big benefits about this, because many of you out there might not have things like copywriting experience, or you just might have to have a lot of experience with moving a Shopify store, one of the easiest ways to make this look more professional, even help you fill out necessary details inside of this page, is by using a tool like ChatGPT. Basically, what I can do is I can just say that I am creating a, a coffee subscription product, and then I will basically, let's actually spell subscription and product, right? Sorry, we're trying to type this really fast so I'm making some typos um, and basically I'll just say create the necessary details for a Shopify product listing and once again I got I'm just trying to type this out really fast so there's going to be a little bit of things but it'll still be able to understand and I'll hit the enter button here and just like that um, it will start giving me necessary things that I can add inside of my product listing and make it look just that much more professional look at this nice little product description here it even kind of comes with some emojis and everything I can basically just copy this right here and even have the what's included copy that paste it into the description and then boom just like that we have a product description and if you don't have product photos you can always just do a chat GPT generated image based on what you think the product will look like or if you have an existing example or template that you can pull from which actually is super helpful the, up next is going to be the product category which again you can choose obviously in this instance we have coffee or consumable um, which you'll basically just kind of verify that that is what you're selling now this part is the important part because that's the whole point of this video and that is the pricing now we can say that this is going to be a let's call it a $45 bag of coffee for you know a couple pounds of coffee right we'll say it's $45 and we can make that our pricing now one of the things I want to be very clear about here is that because we aren't using applications in this video or any plugins what you're going to have to do is basically charge a lump sum ahead of time which will then trigger an internal thing inside of your own systems inside of your business to basically say this is a customer that has signed up for a long subscription of some kind of service Let's say, for example, they want to buy this specific coffee roast blend uh, for one whole year. They want to get a full year where you deliver, let's say, maybe every three to two months. They run out of coffee and they need a refill. So you'll deliver on every, you know, first of the every second month or something like that. So that's about, you know, six uh, total deliveries that you'll be making over time. What you want to do here is price that accordingly with a lump sum pricing. So instead of just $45 per bag, what you're going to want to do is increase that to whatever your margins will allow you to do. So let's say, for example, uh, you know, we want to up this and for a your subscription to this coffee service, let's call it a $297 lump sum. Once they pay that, though, it will then update within your system to basically show that you will be making those deliveries to the that person or whoever ends up actually ordering this 
product, uh, you know, six times in a year or, you know, in a rolling period of months that they order, right? That's kind of basically the workaround because the truth is, yes, it is easier to just do this within the system without having to add a plugin or an application. But one of the things I would definitely recommend is still checking out the plugins page. There's plenty of subscription add-ons you can add to this that work pretty well and still kind of function within the same Shopify ecosystem. The recommendation here though with pricing is of course to just simply do a lump sum pricing and then deliver through that lump sum period. Once it's up, you'll just kind of re uh, notify the customer basically and say, Hey, uh, you know, this is the update. You are officially at the end of your pay period. Do you want to upgrade and continue paying for this to get another year of deliveries? Or is this something that you're not interested in? Basically kind of how you would do the work around there. So once we have our lump sum all available there, we get in set up the rest of this, which is going to be things like shop location, inventory, shipping, how much does the actual product itself weigh, and even the ability to update any search engine listings so that way it's just easier for people to find if they're Googling you or Googling your product. There's also a product organization too, just to make things easier on the back end, especially if you have people that are in charge of overall op this could make their life so, so much easier and just also kind of keep everything nice and tidy and organized, which is very important. Once this all looks good though, we can pretty much hit the save button here, which will save this product. And then the next step is simply adding this product to our Shopify store. We'll go ahead and continue setting up our Shopify store, which will basically head back to the homepage here where you can see our product as well as our theme. We'll hit the view button on the theme, which will take us to the themes page. And inside of the themes page, we'll hit the customize button again. Now we're back inside of the theme page. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do is how to actually update this page. The things that you might have noticed that's changed is because we added our first product, they actually uploaded our full entire Shopify theme that we added in the first place. As you can see here, it's a full bleed page. It gives us a catalog for different products that we have, as well as contact info and so on and so forth. And here's our first product right here, which is our house roast blend that we just made. Also, we can reformat this, edit this, move this around, add columns to it, and do pretty much anything you can think of just to make this look better and obviously more appealing. Also, make sure to add a, a product photo. That way people can actually see what they're buying, uh, you know, pro tip there. <laughs> but as you can see here, that's pretty much it. People can click on this. They can go into the product, see how much they can buy it with, you know, option to pay, you know, with PayPal or whatever, you know, payment processor they want to use. And then pretty much it'll go into the back end of your Shopify store where you can start actually doing things like delivery, shipping, collecting sales tax, and all that fun stuff. But other than that, if you want to make any edits to this, it's pretty easy. Once again, drag and drop. You can click into things on the left side here. Stuff will pop up if you want. Make any, you know, detailed changes to it, and it's pretty easy to do. Other than that, though, guys, that's pretty much it. Also, as a quick reminder, please keep in mind the links down in the description are affiliate links, and we could financially benefit from them at no extra cost to you. So thank you in advance for supporting more videos just like this one. And hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in our future videos. Thank you.